All right. Just for Sergey, <laughs> we're going to <laughs> read the data in for our log controller. So we have um, chart. chart controller, sorry. We have our um, chart controller here, and we had it just had some um, hard-coded data here somewhere. Where was our hard-coded data? It was our... Where is it? I don't see my chart. It should be chart view controller. Yeah. Is it under chart? Here it is. Why is it up there? I don't remember. Why did it get up there? All right, our chart view controller, we had some points that we just put in. We created a, a bar chart. And that all that all should work. Let's make sure it all still <laughs> works. Did you update? Uh, you said you had a bunch of problems over the weekend. Did you update Xcode? No. And no. Having this strange, it it stays on the launch screen for some reason. Even right now. I just did this in my office and it worked. Worked at home. Worked at home. <laughs> so. How long is that launch screen supposed to stay up? Uh, not long, it's in a second, it's really small, yeah. Um, so, I might have to go to my other one. So we did a chart, and I think the last thing I did was made it a horizontal chart by just changing the uh, class of the view. So what we need to do, put this back in its folder, is uh, read all the log data. So that's all in our weight log controller. and. We have the save data here, so we need to have a uh, a read data, and we'll do that in the chart controller itself. So over here, we're going to <coughs> read the data instead of doing the uh, hard coded data. So read data from log file. And our log file name was called, oh, there it was, BMI log CSV. And since I have my cool little class, I can do that fairly easily by calling my log file class and read file. And that returns a string. Uh, I'm going to call it raw log data. And let's comment this out. What does it like? Wait. 
weight points. Oh, well, we don't want to do that yet either. All right, so um, it's just saying never used whatever. So our raw log data has data in it. Um, let's debug that. And we can see the data. So let's run it. So if we step over that line, and hopefully this will stop. No. Nope. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Bad instruction. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's a bad one. So when you get an error like that, um, uh, usually you can find something down here. It found a nil when it, uh, while well, unwrapping that uh, optional. So the problem was it couldn't find the file. That's basically the whole problem. And I have deleted this project off of my simulator a few times so I really need to have some data in here so I mean it would be better let's turn off that hardware that keyboard because it's just too hard to type on and let's log it and save the weight entry and change my weight a little bit and save the weight entry let's just get a couple Woo! he went fat <laughs> he went fat so now I have a, a data file should be in that uh, file and I should be able to read it again Wasn't isn't that buried inside a try-catch? Oh, no, no not that one. So, so this is the file. And we can look at it in the finder. If you go to go to folder, and paste that in there. There's our data file that we just created, all the same date and time, but we've got different data points here. All right, so it saved the data. And unfortunately, I think it's gonna step over it. Oh, maybe not. There we go. So here's my raw log data. to see there. This is the string and it has uh, how is it how is it delimited? Comma and new line. Comma and new line, right? So each record is is delimited by a new line. So we first have to split that and we did that code in the animal code, didn't we? Yeah. So like let's exactly split it with new line and then comma. Yeah, so let's go find that code. And I don't have to rewrite it. Um, so what does it tell you when you're copying code? <laughs> that I wrote the code good enough to use multiple times. A nice method. That's right. I could hold it. That's why I have my file utils there. This one, this one did it. So let's open that guy. This is my code when I was doing the book files. And so we read the file and then we split it using this long comment separated by string new line. And that gives us an array. So we'll do that first. I 
think I have too many projects open here. Something's wrong. This one needs to go away. All right, so we have it as one long string. We read the whole thing into memory. We have an array, we'll call it uh, log entries. No, what am I doing here? This is log entries. And this will be the data that I got, raw log data. So now log entries is an array of strings that don't have, where each string is a record. And then we have to walk through that separate it. and separate it by commas. So my window here, I have a loop that does all of that for me. So we will paste that over here. So we're going to loop through. So this is a, I'll call it a record for each one in my log entries. And we're going to create a new, just call it a single entry. So we're going to separate them by commas. And now I've got the data. And so we can get rid of all this stuff. And what do I need to do with that data? I need two different arrays of, of information. So I need the x-axis. This is, this is the x-axis code and the, the points that I'm graphing are the y-axis. Okay, so I need these two arrays or two arrays. So let's create the A1 C1 or the A1 C or the other? This is this is the data here. So the yeah. I'm this is my one formula or the other, or do we switch back and forth? Well, you're only graphing the blood sh the uh, well the save blood sugar. <coughs> yeah, whatever you blood save. Sugar. Yeah, I think it was only the blood sugar, not the A1C. We're not graphing both things. So it's so it's the other form because there's two formulas. Yeah, it's the EAG. So we're only grabbing the EAG? Yep. Okay. So I've got my entry. I need to have two arrays. In this case, are we grabbing the weight or the BMI? I'm graphing the weight. Because okay. that's all I stored in the file here. So I've got... Um, well, actually, I've got both. I've got height, but that doesn't change much. So oh, I'm going to use the time and the weight. So the time is my x-axis. Yeah. And my... Probably just the date part of your time. Yeah. So I need some variables up here to store it. I need a... Uh, what do we call it? my x-axis, I can call it x-axis, about that, <laughs> um, is a, a string array, I can get the uh, syntax right, no? If you want it, it should be the first string array. Not equal, take the equal out. No, can't do that. <laughs> like that. Let's see. 
there we go. All right, so, so I've got my x-axis and my y-axis is going to have uh, doubles in it. So we'll call it y-axis. Right, so now I can walk through and get the data and the x-axis is going to be the time which is for now I'm just going to leave it as a string so I can say x-axis dot append and which element I think it was this number two, right? yep it'll be zero one two so it's going to be entry sub 2 and then my y axis is going to be um, you're just saving the way here right yes entry sub 1 but that's a string I should catch it good so we have to convert it to a double so, anybody remember how to convert it to a double? Double and then put it in parentheses. Okay. And we're going to assume that it has something. I think that was the error. No. Well, it's non optional. Okay, fine. I didn't even like it when you didn't have that. Oh, we're going to unwrap the whole thing. That should work. Now what's the problem? It doesn't like your y-axis, the, the way you initialized the uh, array. So you'll have to do string, and then your, uh, your box quotes, and then parentheses. that and then a blank array. There we go. Yep, so all I did was declare the variable but I didn't initialize it. So that initializes it to a blank array and now at this point my x and y axis should have data and I should be able to call my set chart here passing that data. Won't that be a miracle if it works? <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be my x-axis. And my values are going to be my y-axis. And that should be it, right? Theoretically. Theoretically. So let's run it. So just go straight to my view chart. And we have a breakpoint. We'll just continue. And we get a crash. Cool. So it says array index out of range. So it didn't read it into the array correctly. Yep. So let's let's rerun it. And walk through this. So my log entries is an array of five values. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, because when you read it in, it's adding a new line to your very last entry. Yep. Well, you can strip that out. So What's, a, what's an easy way to fix that? Let's see. Let's see if that's the case. So I think that's the case. So, because uh, the first one works, it crashes on the last one when you hit that empty. Two, three, four, five. Yep. 
give All right. it a if statement for, so, for last. Yeah, we can say if, see, there's an if statement for you. <laughs> if uh, my record is an empty string, is not an empty string, see, I always write it that way, and then go back, then I want to do this code. Well, you get used to having nice and nice editor. Should be a nice, you know, nice strip method, you know, just to take take the last one off. Yeah. Take spaces or whatever off the end of it. No, there is something. There is, but I used it somewhere. Yeah, there is a strip white space. I think it oh, is, or something like that. that. All right, view the chart. So, we'll go through it again, just to make sure. Looks like it ran, look at that. Beautiful. Is that beautiful? <laughs> Not much difference in the weight. The time is the same. So, because I didn't have any really different dates. But, I did it. On the fly, look at that. On the fly. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can change in the color of the uh, chart. Um, in the in this bar chart view, you can set uh, different parameters, different properties of the chart. Say again. Um, where, where is it that you told it to be horizontal rather than vertical? In the view, if you go to my storyboard, this view here comes from the uh, the custom class. Oh, you have is horizontal bar chart view, and some of these will work, um, With the same data. but pie chart won't because it's expecting different data. But let's do the line chart and see if that that works. Some of them need different arrays of stuff. Beach ball of death. I thought we were done with these. What beach balls? Yeah, <laughs> they were really bad when we were before OS X. How long ago was that? Jeez, uh, ninety nine. <laughs> then we then we had OS nine, and it was a uh, before we had Intel Max really. Doesn't like that one. So that's not going to work. But we had a. Uh, it was. Uh, it was just called bar chart view, I think. So the uh, the code is pretty simple, and it all depends on how you wrote the data out in your log file. If you guys if you guys are be different, so the the entries that you get back are going to be different. So you'll have to figure that out. Change it depending on name, whatever. Yep. Okay, any question, that? questions on that? 
And if I have more data, uh, where did my window go to? Uh, I was gonna copy some data. Forget it. <laughs> it's not worth. <laughs> not worth it. You ran it again, so it changed. The yeah, location, it changed the right? location. Yeah. So how hard is localization? Um. Not too hard. It's pretty easy peasy. In, uh, Android is Android. pretty easy, yeah. It's a little more difficult in, uh, on the Mac, but not too bad. Any questions on that? Sergey? Shelly? What is your error? You have to speak up. Y axis. So you probably have the same thing that I had. You have your data file is different. Your data file has blank line at the end. Did you do this? Yep. Did you? Yeah. What's yours, John? Yep. So, uh, yeah. Sergey came up with a, a problem. This is really not a, a good way to go unless you're really sure of your data. Because uh, one of his data points was bad. It got written to his file bad. So, ideally, you should use their let. Um, Uh, try system. Um, if I can remember how to do it, uh, we're going to we're going to try to convert it to a double. And if it fails. We're gonna set it to zero. Variable use with it its own initial value. So it's just a really painful. <laughs> I'd rather just use if if it worked, you know. But so you need another variable. Yeah. say um, Instead of appending that, we append my y value. Right. It's a lot more code to figure that out, <laughs> but but uh, that would fix your problem, Sergey. Uh, that accounts for dumb users. Yeah. You file. Oh, there you go. That would fix that too. <laughs> uh, but typically, you have control over what's written, except you've got stupid people might put in bad data, so. So you have to change it if they do. Yeah. So ideally, you would catch that on the writing side. Don't allow bad data to be put in your database. So, all right. Any questions on that guy? Mine works. Because then it 
Did it? There's line endings. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think of them as records in the database, so. Call it whatever you want. Anybody else have questions? Does it work for you? And then they say, uh, I've read more and more that they're really trying to push you to use uh, let variables because they're constants and the compiler can optimize how it stores the data as constants. So it makes your code better if you use the lets as much as possible. So they're not just being a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They really want those to be lets. Oh, man. I change it just because I hate seeing those little Yeah, little exactly. Warnings. Yep. All right. So it's like the, uh, the component separated by string method. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to overwrite it and uh, change the name somehow? Is that even possible? You can't overwrite it. Could you like write your own method then inherit you can, that? Yes, you can extend, because record is a string. You can, ex they call it uh, an extension, like we can do in Ruby where you add your own method to the string class. Mm -hmm. You can add your own method to the string class here as well. We, we should do that sometime. There's some nice added things you can do to the numbers and stuff. It'd be nice to have. Make it more Ruby-ish. <laughs> Ruby. I like Ruby, so that's a good idea. Yes. So that's, uh, I don't have time to go through localization now, but so we'll do that tomorrow. We're way ahead anyway, right? So. Smoking. All right, let's just make sure it runs one last time. Fine. So when it wasn't running um, at the beginning of class, what did you do to finally make it run? I switched projects. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> that project has some problem with it. Oh. And I actually had made a copy of that before, so there should be no reason why it's different. So there we go. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. No holiday in